try his best to eat kosher. Okay. Uh, like we go to a restaurant, we eat, but we don't eat anything that has any meat or, or chicken or any of that. It has to be strictly. Well, we we eat out. Well, we eat fish and uh, non and non meat foods because there are no kosher restaurants here. Back when I was in the army, I never ate any non-kosher meat, or beef, or any chicken. Or it's not easy, but you know how many years that was. So you you stuck to your beliefs. How many years were you in the army? I was in the army forty months. Forty months. Is that uh, World War Two? World War Two. In fact, I was in. At Ohio State University on Pearl Harbor Day. Mm. Today, and I'll never today. forget because I was busy studying because finals were going to be later in the week, and I was studying with a friend of mine. That was before TV, and we were busy in Bow. We had a little lunch in our where I was living, and uh, late in the afternoon, we hear kids on the street hollering, "Extra, extra, Japan!" bomb Pearl Harbor. We were astounded and got a, it was a Ohio State uh, Lantern paper, we bought a paper and talked about it. We put the radio on and of course the news started coming. Well, the next morning I had an eight o'clock class and uh, when we came to class, of course, uh, you know, everybody was excited and buzzing and so forth. The professor, assistant professor who left me to class said, fellas, I said, he said, don't rush right away to sign up. Wait till you finish the exams this week so you don't lose a, sem a, sem a, a quarter of credits that you can still keep. He said, they're not gonna call you anyhow for a little while. So I, at Ohio State, they had ROTC. I was in ROTC, the field artillery. So I applied to see if I could be accepted in the army. But I didn't pass the physical. My vision was not good. But anyhow, the following uh, September, they decided they could use me. You decided your vision was better? <laughs> <laughs> so I was called. I think I entered the service in September or, yeah, I think September of, of the year of 42. And I got out the last day of the month of next to the last day of the month of January in 46. Before we uh, move on, I just kind of wanted to go just back a little bit and ask you if you were involved in any um, uh, youth groups, uh, Jewish you know, uh, groups. Yes, before I went into the third, before I, had, see, when I graduated high school, I had uh, one brother ahead of me who hadn't been to college. I was number six on the list. Uh, my parents were struggling to make a living, and uh, um, it wasn't my turn to go to school. So I worked, and we had at that time, we opened up a couple, my parents opened up several neighborhood stores. At that time, with $500, you could stock a grocery store and go into business. <laughs> And not only that, my my uncle was in the wholesale grocery business who was willing to give us a charge account to open up a store. So it was near a small neighborhood store. And so I worked in a store at um, Palm Avenue in South Lorraine for three years before it was my turn to go to college. And then I started college. While I was at college, I, um, my brother and I, my brother was also in there, and I next brother. We took turns coming home every uh, Friday in the afternoon to, we arranged our schedule that we were through at noon. We could hitchhike home uh, by way of the generosity of people. In those days, they would pick up hitchhikers, you know, younger fellows. And, uh, our stores were closed on Sabbath, but our stores opened in the evening. And it was 
open on Sunday. So I would work in the store on Saturday night and Sunday, and then uh, my brother, older brother who was home, he uh, would drive me, drive us to Wellington to get to New York Central for the last train going into Columbus. And hopefully we'd make it the time to get on the, the uh, streetcar that could take us, because I lived on High Street, and we went right by. But sometimes this is the, the train from Wellington uh, to Columbus was a milk train. It stopped at a number of places to pick up milk. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a fairly long ride, but that's all right. So if we didn't get a ride when we got in on the, tra on the streetcar, we, we could afford a, uh, a taxi. It was not too bad at that time. So we did that while I was at school to help out at home, you know, with school. So what were some of the youth organizations you were involved in? Well, uh, we, I was active in the uh, Neighborhood Youth Organization, ACA. Okay. Became very active because at that time very few of us were able to go to college. And we were made up of fellows aged uh, 16 to 21. Oh, okay. And uh, we were another young people had something that they would like to do youth-wise, and we had wonderful leadership of the Morris Mayer of uh, Ruth Sepsonwall's uh, brother who helped form the uh, organization as, a, as an advisor. He was an older gentleman, very fine gentleman. And uh, we got very much involved. In fact, we have meetings and events with chapters from Cleveland, Youngstown, Ackman. They were all over. In fact, I became very much, I, became, I was the president of the chapter here and became a district officer and would go to the conventions that they had in various cities and took part in speaking contests with uh, George Jacoby, a very good friend of mine uh, who uh, had an untimely passing early in life. And uh, so I established a lot of friendships around the country with fellows from other cities. So I was very much involved in the, in fact, when I was in the Army, we had a reunion in, in Honolulu of ACA members. <laughs> yeah. So um, I, had, I had a lot of influence on me, and I, I think it gave me an opportunity for some Leadership experience and your experience in, in in organizations as such, and and the the members of ACA to this day every couple of years they have a reunion and they all come to um, Lorraine to celebrate their days um, in Lorraine and that their work with the with the organization in our trophy case. During the time that I was active and with many others, of course, we was actually Lorraine and Elyria combined. We would meet one week in Lorraine, one week in Elyria. We won the National Best Chapter Award from all the chapters in the country. We won it two years in a row, and we're given the award at the National Convention. Is that when you bought the bus to go to convention? Yeah, you know, the bus was bought uh, a year to go to that's this Park, Colorado. Oh my goodness, that's a long trip. Wow. Yeah. I, I didn't go on that trip. But we do have a picture of the bus. <laughs> <laughs> it was a real experience with the bus. It was called Old Faithful. <laughs> <laughs> because when it made it up a hill sometime, you had to get the radiator to let some of the steam off. Oh. <laughs>